guys, I'm Talia and I'm here to give you five quick tips on how to succeed with your weight loss goals um, when you're, you know, out of time or when you're in school all day or, you know, work and, you know, life in general. So my first quick tip is to plan ahead. Um, prep your meals on your off day or at a night time that you have, you know, a good amount of time um, to cook a couple of, you know, meals through your four for the next couple days. Um, also, I need you to schedule your workouts, um, put them in your Blackberry, your smartphone, whatever you got to do, or maybe on your wall somewhere. Um, make these non-negotiable workouts, meaning if it's at 5 p.m., it's at 5 p.m. I don't care what anyone else needs you to do, you need to work out at the time that you post it. Unless, obviously, you know, if it's an emergency or something like that, but you compensate for it. So if you know you can't do it at that time, get it in earlier. Just make sure you get all your workouts in. Second, um, I need you guys to use outside sources for motivation or for knowledge. Um, I know that I use the internet um, and social networking such as Pinterest and Instagram um, or you know a bunch of all these websites that um, make you more knowledgeable about fitness and about eating healthy and such as. Um, I really like to use Pinterest and Instagram the most. Um, Pinterest, you know, gets me just pumped up because I see all these pictures and all these recipes and, you know, all these pictures of models and stuff like that and, you know, it just gets me motivated to get up and go. Um, Instagram is more of a personal thing. Um, I post my own pictures and I have followers and I follow a bunch of other people that are into fitness, some that are beginners and some that are pros. Um, you know, it just depends on what you want to do. You want to follow somebody that's kind of on your same level, or do you want to follow somebody that looks insanely ripped and, you know, huge for a guy, you know, you're sexy and curvy and, you know, muscular for a girl. Um, it just depends on what you want to follow and the things that motivate you. Um, so use those wisely because they really do make a difference. Um, every time that I get on it every day, I just get this boost of motivation um, and encouragement. And, you know, everyone's so nice to each other and um you know it's a bunch of strangers that just love the same thing and you know we all share this common goal so it's it's a pretty amazing experience once you get it so you know get yourself an instagram or a pinterest because it's really helpful um my third uh tip would be don't be a cardio junkie this is mostly for girls but if you're a guy too and you're a cardio junkie like you run 10 miles a day don't do that first off you're wearing off your joints you know, you're wearing on them, you're, you know, you're beating up pretty bad every day when you do prolonged, you know, blocks of cardio. Um, also, you're wearing down your muscles that you've been, you know, building. You know, I'm a girl, like, my muscles take a long time to come in because, you know, we don't have that testosterone to, you know, build huge amounts of muscles. So, girls, don't worry about getting bulky because it's not going to happen. The heavier you lift, the smaller and tighter you'll be, you know. Girls don't think that, but that's what happens. Um, so just try it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, also with the prolonged uh, times of cardio, do HIIT training, which is high intensity, uh, high intensity interval training. When you do this, I need you to just go for 15, 20 minutes, going as hard as you can for a minute and resting for another minute. Um, and you do this until your body basically gives out. And that's all the cardio you will need for that day. It burns out like crazy and um, you get your cardio in with a shorter, shorter amount of time and it gets the job done. It keeps your muscles good. It does not wear down your muscle. Um, and it, it'll make your body look a lot better. And it improves your prolonged times of cardio, which you shouldn't be doing a lot of in a week. But when you do, your cardio would be a lot better. Um, moving on to number four, um, drink water like it's your job. I need you to drink about a gallon of water a day. Um, it clears out your body, cleans out, you know, all the toxins in your body. It makes you feel like a racehorse. I know it's annoying, but you got to do it. It makes you less bloated um, when you get on the scale the next morning. It'll be more of your true weight because, you know, you've cleared out all the water inside of you. You don't want to retain water. It's not good for you. It's not a cute look. And um, it, your numbers on the scale will be a lot less accurate. Um, but don't listen to the scale because it sucks. Um, also, number five, and my last tip, is to take progress pics. Um, like I said, don't listen to the scale. It's, you know, it's a big old meanie. 
and it's it's not accurate. You know, you can be 170 pounds and have like 7% body fat. You're not 170 pounds of fat. You know, you might be not very tall and it's like, oh my gosh, you're obese because you're 170 pounds. That's not true. You know, you gotta look at measurements, you gotta look at your body fat. You have to look at how your clothes are fitting, you know, how many notches on your belt are you gonna have to go today and, you know, things like that. Um, but mostly I rely more more on pictures because, you know, I would get on the scale and I'd be like, oh my god, what the hell, like I'm not, you know, losing the weight that I want to lose, like what's going on? But then I would be like, but wait, my clothes fit better, like what's going on? So I started taking pictures and I would put them side by side. And wow, why didn't I start doing this, you know, like way before? You know, it, you see these changes that you wouldn't normally see because, you know, you, you would look at yourself every day in the mirror and you kind of go off by what you remember your body looking last. And, you know, I don't remember what I ate last week, so how am I going to remember what I looked like a month ago? And you look at yourself every day, so you're just kind of like, eh, I didn't change very much today or whatever. But really, your body really does change and it's a result of small things done every single day that lead to a huge change in the end. So um, do these five tips and um, they will seriously help you to get to where you need to be. Take it one day at a time. Um, make sure you put it in your head that you're not going to lose you know, all the weight that you wanted to lose in a very short amount of time because you didn't put it on in a month. You're not going to lose it in a month. You know, if you put on five pounds in a month, okay, maybe that's more doable. But, you know, if over the years you just gained, you know, this big amount of weight, don't give yourself, oh, in two months, that's it. Like, I'm going to lose 40 pounds. You know, it's not realistic. For me, when it clicked was when I knew that it was a process, that it was going to take a long time because I had, you know, damaged my body so much. I ate so much junk for so long that, you know, it wasn't going to take a month or two, you know, I'm about nine months into my journey now and I've lost about 25 pounds and I'm never ever going back but you know I just do it day by day I, I don't look that far ahead I, I live every day you know as as good as I can and I eat as healthy as I can and I get my workout in and you know I do everything else that I gotta do I go to school and you know I do all my homework and all that kind of stuff you know the joys of being a full-time student but you really, really do have to take everything slow and give yourself time. It's all about progress, not about perfection. Um, so follow these tips and they will get you where you need to be. And thank you so much for watching this video. You shot it.